Okay, welcome everybody. I am Jay Hart Ellison. We have a special stream today. We are touring Kragen Homes. It's our Kragen Home craze. I'm gonna go tour 37 Kragen Homes. Now this is a small home in the Elder Scrolls Online and it's great value. You can stick a lot into it and it comes with a couple of furnishings that are valuable too. So we had a contest going on, our top six builds overall. Most impressive homes will each win some prizes on PCEU or PCNA. This is open to both PC servers. We're going to start with Ananarch's Kragen Home, and we'll see what you can do with this space. Definitely curious what different styles we might see. People will have kept the Dark Elf bed of coals that it comes with. That is very valuable. Everybody needs to go buy Kragen Home. You can buy it unfurnished for 69,000 gold, and it comes with a really cool furnishing called Dark Elf Coals, and it's actually, that one furnishing is worth more than the purchase cost of the home. So effectively, you can get yourself a free home with that, or just get yourself a unique furnishing. I'm, I'm definitely curious how many people will have kept the Dark Elf Coals versus how many people will have sold it off or moved it to another build. It makes good coals for a forge or lots of different things you can do with it. So it's very popular, and you can only get one of those per account. There's technically another one that you can get, but it's a very expensive house. <laughs> anyway, we're going to start with Ananarch's, Ananarch's Home. So this is Kragen Home. Now, this does not look anything like Kragen Home, but it's basically just using this place as a... A room, empty room. So we have Ananarch's home on PCEU, and they say this probably looks a lot different than other Kragen homes. I'm definitely getting that sense. So this is what you can do with this. Oh, Lenalo with the host. Thank you so much. Welcome to our Kragen home craze. We just got started. So <laughs> showing off what you can do with this Kragen home. This is using 184 out of 200 items. If you have ESO Plus, you get double the furnishing cap limit. So you can put 200 in this with ESO Plus. So this is really nice. It's just a nice, like, dungeon entrance. You can kind of see it as maybe like a like a mining area. It has a little cart system going on. Maybe pulling up some supplies and some rocks. And an arc has an amazing style. So <laughs> the funny thing about this is you can't see any of the home except for the entrance. So this is the Dark Elf style entryway here but then everything else is covered up the floors and the walls and the ceiling are all covered up but you can just make use of the space this way but this looks really really good i it's an amazing use of the space it looks looks like people would actually use this area i don't get a screenshot from this i love the cartwheels make sure i get those in the screenshot Ananarch is amazing. I know everybody. If Ananarch has an incredible style, what are they using for the pulleys? Oh, they have the bucket here. That's just the, I think, the cistern bucket. And then it's like a bit of a work area. So you can maybe imagine the mining manager foreman, something like that, keeping, keeping track of everything here, making sure the work is going smoothly. And, or maybe they live down here in the mine. <laughs> it maybe feels a little abandoned. Doc went, yeah, Doc went here. And it looks like maybe some bottoms of some, oh no, these are, these are like torture <laughs> devices. They're like stretching devices. That's a clever way of doing that. And then using things like rubble and things like that to really dress this place up. I love this, I love this style. So this is what you can do with the space, if nothing else. And we'll continue along, continue along. I hope that people get some decoration inspiration as we continue to tour these. We're gonna to go to Lot Lurian's place next. Lot Lurian sent a little bit of a backstory or a big backstory with this, which was, okay. The humble house slash laboratory of Nainar Kal, House of Indril. As a member of House Enderol, she has a strong connection to the Tribunal, especially to Sothasil. She is a fanatic into technology and Sothasil's creations and hopes that, and she hopes that her hard work and research will open the way into Clockwork City for her to become the Clockwork Apostle. And that is why her home is not for resting and chilling, but for study, research, and science to uncover the mysteries of Tamriel. 
and maybe then she will be recognized by Sothisil himself. So a little bit of a Sothisil fanatic home. <laughs> we see all the clockwork things coming on. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so here we have a lot Lorian's Kragen home. Wow, placing if you think you think placing you. these really well. What did the cow say when she found someone in her house? Move over. <laughs> Move over. Yeah, the impaler. Thank you so much. 18 months. Big hype, big hype, big hype, big hype, <laughs> big hype, and boo. Thank you, Gad. Welcome to our Kraken Home craze. I love what Lotlorian has done with these Order Hour carpets. It's just like they are risen by like one pixel <laughs> above the rest of the carpet. So you just cut this nice kind of sigil on the floor. It has that nice hourglass that kind of reminds me, reminds me of clockwork things a little bit too. Okay, Order Hour. Okay, so Clockwork Fanatic. Get the blessing of Sothisil. Maybe, maybe go meet him. Try to get to Clockwork City. Do your research. Clockwork God. <laughs> Doing all sorts of hybrid research. This is fun, this is fun. Now, Kragen Home is only one room, basically. It's just one room, it has a couple of stairs, and then it has this other, like, half room up here. Um, but what Lorian has done has added a second story to this by adding the stairway and the plating for an additional floor. Oh, it's like a bumpy. <laughs> bump, 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 bump. <laughs> Using individual stairs. That's kind of funny. Okay, and then we have a second story up here. One thing I kind of like about this is the Kragen home is a Dark Elf style home, and Dark Elf colors are kind of the dark green and gold, and Clockwork kind of has that same kind of metallic goldish color to it, so the Dark Elf style kind of matches this really well. Don't know if that was entirely intentional, but I think it looks nice. Oh, and we have the new Stargazer telescope. This is actually on the luxury vendor right, right, right now. It's my first time seeing it in person. So kind of sticking that out the window, kind of imagine coming here, gazing at the stars, trying to figure out maybe, maybe some parallels to Clockwork City. <laughs> it's a long telescope. It's like so long. It doesn't, yeah, it's like sticking out the window there. Yeah, I did. Second story is nice. Needle Razor says, I know, I know. Okay, well, let me try to get a screenshot of this. It'll be difficult to get both both stories here. Maybe I'll take a screenshot of each story. That might might be a better way of doing it. Oh, I love and I love all the animated clockwork things going on here, like the the various pets and mounts and and the plaques going up and down. It's very animated, lively, energetic here. Okay, get a screenshot of the bottom floor, and maybe maybe the little bedroom up here too. Really love the colors going on. Magical books. Okay, thank you, thank you, Lurian, <laughs> the Sotha Sylphanatic. Okay, next up we'll go to Dubat. We're starting on PC EU, and then we'll hop over to PC NA. I have eight more homes. Eight, eight more homes. Oh, I didn't see the C-3PO and R2-D2. <laughs> Maybe. I think those are more just like the... They just happen to have a similar robotic look to them. Oh, no. Maybe I missed it. That's okay. <laughs> okay, Dubat's home up next. Dubat has... Okay, a little bit of a, a, little bit of a story on this. Wait, is that Dubat? It's Dubat! One of my favorite Khajiits. Good to see you, it's good to see you. Waving to you. I uh, know, I am... I am not a Khajiit. This is a small bistro for Khajiit expats. <laughs> They're mooing at me. They're mooing at me. That nearly sounded like a moo. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we have Khajiit expats. And a bistro. So Dubat's gonna whip us up something nice. Oh yeah, I see. I see other. 
food here. Oh, Madam X is joining here. Have some tea, have a meal. Let's see what else do we have. We have a little Elfix. <laughs> little Elfix. Beige says, can you invite me to the group? I can try, yeah, I can try to do that. <laughs> X McGuffin says, it's you, that's you. It says, as a Khajiit in the back, this one can recommend this cafe. I imagine, I imagine. Jubat's Cafe has a good reputation. Hey, it's a Dark Elf by the Coals. So repurposing those. This will be the first one that we've seen. <laughs> Make a nice... Nice little cooking area in the back here instead of using using the middle area where it came from. And the Beast lots of fresh ingredients. Jubat says, the cook is hard at work. Yes, yes, yes. Alnavor says, love the reskinning of the walls for more of an elsewhere feel. Yeah, so what Dubat has done has used a lot of these elsewhere walls, so it doesn't have that quite dark look to it. So it looks definitely more like elsewhere, where which makes sense because elsewhere has a much more closer affiliation to Kajiti folk than, than a dark, dark elf home would, right? So just totally changing the look of this place and... I really like it. I really like it. We'll, <laughs> we'll get a screenshot of that. I'll, I'll, I like the centerpiece, just using this one garless alpinia. It's very colorful. And it has that bright red Kajiti color to it, too. Dubat says, the carpet being bright also lightens up the room. That's a good point. Very colorful. That's kind of the rich mercantile look that would be associated with Kajit as well. Yep, yeah, pretty. Very pretty. Very pretty. Thank you, do bat. I love your bistro. I like how you have your little welcoming desk here. <laughs> it's like I have a reservation. I like to see. I like to see the tasting menu. <laughs> we have not picked events for December yet. By the way, we'll do. We did a bunch of contests for November. This is our last November contest, and then we'll do a bunch for December too, a little bit later in the month. Okay, and we'll continue along. We're going to go to Carbonized Home up next. Carbonized signed up on the forums. I always put details of our contests up uh, under the housing subsection of the official ESO forum. So be sure be sure to check out there to see details on our future contest. Details aren't out on those quite yet, though, for December. But Carbonized signed up on the forums, which is a good way to do that. Here we go. Here we go. Carbonize says this is a classic, classic dark elf skooma and gambling den. So Carbonize more playing up the traditional dark elf nature of this place. So we have, hey, here are the dark elf medicals just kind of nestled where they normally originate. So they fit well. That's why that's why it's hard to pry them from this home. <laughs> okay, so we have a skooma and gambling den. So we do have the skooma here. Lovely purple plume on that. <laughs> much skooma, much wow. It's very inviting. Skooma everywhere. Skooma everywhere. And then we have the gambling element here. We have the coins being weighed. Oh, we have we have fancy foods as well. We have the cheese and and breads and so nice nice skooma den. <laughs> huh, bed up top for reasons. Maybe maybe the skooma den owner also lives here. That would be a noisy place to live in a skooma den and gambling gambling hall. I love the pile of fruits. Maybe they're gambling with those. <laughs> I wager you two bunches of grapes. Maybe. <laughs> I do. It was very inviting. It's very comfortable with all the pillows kind of scattered about. Bit of a flop house, Needle Rooster says. That would work, that would work. Seems like generally the best place to get a screenshot of this place is going to always be like this corner. <laughs> maybe, maybe, I can't get the coins in it this way. Maybe this works. 
Maybe that'd be good to get them from similar places so they can kind of compare different styles. <laughs> Game dev search. Won't be that corner in yours. How oh, good. Dice all. Oh, I didn't see the dice on the floor. I was looking for dice on the table. Wait, there are dice on the floor? I didn't see that. If they're on the floor, that would maybe indicate something or another. Mm, missing the dice. No, there they are. There they are. Oh, I see. So you can. Oh, there they are. <laughs> they kind of blend in. Hard to see them. I probably stepped on a couple. That would that would not feel good stepping on these metal dice. So yeah, it's it's comfortable sitting on the ground with the pillows there and just kind of playing playing a game. That works really well. Okay, so carbonized traditional skooma and gambling den. <laughs> It's very well put together. Okay, Bayushi is next. Bayushi, I believe, may have some animations for us. So I'm going to go ahead and invite them to group. And maybe the only one that is like that. Hopefully you're online. There we go. Okay, so I hopefully I have visual effects. Says I have visual effects, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go here, and we're gonna see Bayushi's home. Bayushi is really really good with visual effects and animations from essential housing tools. I don't think that they have animations this time, but I I think they'll have some visual effects. Okay, and here we go. Okay, Bayushi did have a couple <laughs> couple of notes for me to keep in mind. Maybe this would just be, oh, <laughs> they said it would be noisy when I log in. They are right. So they do have a sphere of silence using essential housing tools effects is you can add some noise dampening effects so that you can get rid of like the clockwork plaques and other things that might make noise. So including like the Rathana de Renata can be noisy. It's a good one to do. And then another thing to note about this home is that the beginning area of this home all homes have a bit of an area where you can't really build into them uh, just because you need to be able to pour into the homes or not. So that's going to be why this is pulled out a little bit. But okay, let's explore Bayushi's home. Wow, what is this place? I feel like I'm in a spaceship. I love the colors. Super, super RGB here. Okay, this is Bayushi's home. Effects. It has effects. It's like the coldness of space. <laughs> oh, we're we're being guided by a pig. Pig is our space captain. I definitely feel like I'm in space. Great use of the visual effects. It's a space pig. Oh, but oh, we even have like a factotum, maybe in deep hibernation. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! There's an error. Or something. <laughs> this is really clever. It's just using it's using <laughs> a little snippet of the effects to make it look like a computer module. Maybe this is a bit of a mystery. Ooh, ooh. So this is a little bit of what's going on with this home. Maybe, maybe... There's going to be something here. Oh, even have a little keyboard. Wow. that Even that little keyboard would have taken forever to do. This is all on EU. We're in Beishi's home. Beishi 2005 on PC EU in their Kraken home. I believe I believe Beishi is hibernating. Ooh, Beishi. You've seen better days. Let me lower this a little bit. <laughs> We're going light speed. We're traveling through space. Through space. I love the lights. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, I become one with the fan. I got sucked into it. <laughs> oh, that's using the Stormlord Battlegrounds furnishing for that, right? Oh no, it's short circuiting. That's not good. It's like critical failure. It's like pulsing red. Oh no. Oh no. Lot Lorraine says, How many houses have you missed? Enough. You missed your own. <laughs> it's okay. I'll vote this and put up on YouTube so you can um, catch everything. 
I love this. Oh no, but the only problem with this is how do I get a picture of the space pig and everything else in here? Maybe I can get a wide shot for a screenshot. I'm trying to get a good screenshot. It feels so, it feels so silent here. Maybe I can sit here. Maybe that'll work. That'll work. Totally transforming this space. Great use of like the dark or the Daedric platforms as well as things like the clockwork fans to change the look of this. Lovely. This gyroscope is a great addition too. There's some <laughs> bottles leaking. Wait, 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 wait. There's all sorts of details going on here. Makes me wonder if everything is all right. I have a bit of a workstation here. The die there, huh? Maybe, maybe you get lost and you have to roll the die and hope that everything works. It's like a tart. It's a bit of a clockwork TARDIS. Maybe, maybe this is a doctor. A doctor came back as this form. Maybe. <laughs> How much of this is FX? Not very much. I could toggle them. I uh, let me toggle it. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the uh, turn off the effects. I don't think it'll look that much different. Here's what it looks like without effects. It's not that much different. The effects are mostly just being added here for the the lights and like the window. But beyond that, even things like this replica cursed orb of Meridia gives a really good glow at, at that, or the Storm Lord. Uh, Item here here helps a lot. Okay, Bayushi, that's really cool. I love it. I love it. I I feel like I'm in space, traveling to an unknown destination, with maybe some companions that are going to be a bit grouchy when they wake up. Okay, perfect, perfect. Awesome build. And we'll continue along. As much as I would want to continue with you on your thousand year your journey to the next galaxy, we'll continue along. Okay, we'll go to Lilith 4657's home up next. <laughs> have EU question mark. I hope this is the right I hope this is the right one. It's port me in, I'm going to assume so. Cows and space and pigs. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> Thank you, Bayushi. Okay, it's definitely decorated. Okay, this is Lilith. Dragon Home, so totally different style. Using this great grand Eleanor book bookcase here to partition off the space here. So you basically get three rooms out of the one big room by using the bookcases here. So that works really well, and then you can kind of see what's going on. So, ooh, this definitely feels like a research area. You have a lot of books and other kind of oddities like these nixids. They're they're kind of mischievous. It nearly it nearly ooh. I'd say it nearly has a Harry Potter ish feel to it. Especially with the especially with the tower there. Maybe, maybe. It could just be some odd odd research place. This might be like the Doxies. I think they were Doxies in Harry Potter. But anyway, um It could be its own thing. Definitely could be. Ooh, fantastic use of these paintings. Just kind of taking the paintings, reorient reorienting them. So you don't have to use them this way, you can use them long way, and you can just flip them around, and then you just get the nice frame. The frame is on both sides. Creamy says it's beautiful. Yeah, a lot of detail packed into this place. It's a really good way of kind of drawing attention to these, framing them in a literal way. They, they really stand out. Kind of things that you might want to know more about. Things of research. Creepy things. Good little aquarium using that display case. 
Let's see. Continuing up. More magical things. Plants and whatnot. Huh, it's interesting to see something like a mushroom or a toadstool in a display like this. It nearly gives it a bit of a two-dimensional approach. If you've seen the old, kind of more old-style drawings of like what a plant might look like, <laughs> you're kind of like your research notes. Shroom paintings, yeah, they look like little paintings. I, I imagine those being more like paintings and as as a three-dimensional type of a thing. Yeah, little illustrations. Kind of very scientific, like noting noting the dimensions and things. It's kind of what it feels like to me. I love it. Has a people are saying it has a bit of a museum look. It has a bit of a museum look. It's, to me, it seems more like an active research area. Okay, what's going to be the best thing to get a screenshot of? Oh no! Ooh, there's an orb. Can I smash it from here? <laughs> Sneak a smash in. I don't think so. Oh no, it's protected. Yeah, I love what they've done with all the paintings. Using the frames on those. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Okay, I can't get a screenshot of everything. <laughs> I might just have to get multiple. I'll do that, I'll do that. Amazing what you can do with this one room and just 200 items. Oh, other things on this wall too. I didn't even really look at those. Really good. Filling up those bookcases with all sorts of things. This is a clever way of making it look like this bookcase is a little bit differently oriented, kind of covering up the, the wooden slat in the middle there with the with the vault and the book. That's pretty clever. It makes the bookcase look a lot different. Okay. Okay, let's continue along. Getting all sorts of decoration inspiration as we continue along here. So many birds. I've seen birds. <laughs> those, those taxidermy birds of prey. They're very popular. I've noticed that. I'm glad I got a lot. Okay, well, we'll continue along with our Craig and Home craze. These are all the same home. It's Craig and Home. Great home to get. Definitely go buy it if you haven't yet. Okay, Neb314. It pays for itself if you sell off the furnishings it comes with. Okay, Neb, or just keep the keep the coals. The coals are good. Uh, okay, Neb314 is up next on PCEU. Just a couple more on PCEU, and then we'll hop over to PCNA. These have been really good so far. Okay, Neb has some sort of a clockwork type of a feel to this. Wow, totally changing the look of this place with all this clockwork plating. It's so bright in here. Wow, this is really cool. Okay, where are we? Where are we? I feel like I'm in a <laughs> clockwork. Uh, maybe like a submarine? Looks like we are underwater. Wow, I love just kind of sneaking, sneaking some water effects in here. Um, using these display cases from, from the Somerset Achievement Furniture. Gives that little glass look, and then using that blue brazier just has that little bit of a fiery effect that makes it look like moving water, and then just kind of contextualizing it with the kelp and the starfish. So it's like we've run run into a coral reef in a submarine. I think we're in a submarine. Oh, this is oh yeah, we have a, per, a periscope here. Oh, cool, 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 cool. This is amazing. We went we went from space to deep sea. 
Exactly. I love this periscope. What do they do for this? Just using a little goblet for the for the eyepiece, a couple couple of clockwork goblets, and then using these stacked up. So we're looking up above water. What do we see? We see we have run into a reef. That's no good. <laughs> oh, that's really clever. And then we have all the rest of the interior of the submarine. This is a very kind of spacious submarine, I gotta say. Then we have room down here. Okay, like the engines and everything running. Okay, this is this is cool. I'm I gotta say, I'm easily impressed, and this also impresses me. No no no. This is this is good. <laughs> have a skeleton crew here. Let me try to get a screenshot with as much of this as I can in it. Be a little lower, like we're looking up at the sea. Wait, is that a player? No, it's just a target skeleton. <laughs> just make sure. This is really fun. It's a r really great visualization of just using a couple of furnishings in a way that makes this look like you are under the water. It's really creative. Hope we can... I hope we didn't spring a leak when we hit. We might have crashed. Reef is clever. I know, I know. Thank you, Neb. Neb314. Great use of all the clockwork furnishings about. Unlike the Dwarven Arc. This is a I believe this is a tonal arc. You can get that from doing, I think, Frost Vault, and then you buy it from the the Undaunted Merchant. Okay, let's continue along. We'll go to Toriel Green Leaves up next on PCEU. Submarine. It's crazy. It's crazy what you can do. Just with uh, one little room like this. And take it a billion different ways. Every single home that we've gone to so far has been like completely different from one another. Okay, Tario Greenleaf said that this home maybe had been deserted, but may have may have new residents that have taken up the place. Oh wow, this is like the first kind of garden-y type of home that we've seen. So, wow, this looks like not the inside of a home, right? It looks like we're in like a kind of secluded grotto in the forest. Totally transporting you. Okay, so it's become a Nixid Grotto, a Nixid Grotto. I like the mushrooms. Oh, oh this, this is really cool. So it's the secret life of Nixids. <laughs> all the mushrooms. Totally covering up everything about this place. Adding a lot of kind of underbrush with these with these desert shrubs and all the greenery. Most of these come from home goods furnitures, so they're really cheap. Great use of the pus pocket mushrooms. Kind of has that kind of magical, kind of fairy look to it. Game Dev Chris has a whimsical tea party in the forest. <laughs> yeah, pretty kind of looks like that. Secret Life of Nixids. So I guess I can imagine Nixids being kind of like... Kind of, in a way, I don't know, they, they feel a lot more feral in in ESO. Maybe a bit more chaotic. Um, but you can kind of imagine them being kind of like fairies or pixies. And maybe they have their own little society and their own little things where they maybe gather together and, and eat and do moon sugar. <laughs> or whatever, whatever they do, whatever they do. I love the mushrooms. Using that everlasting waterfall. If you're like, how hey, how do they have water in Kragenholm? Kragenholm doesn't have any water features. Well, this is using the everlasting waterfall. That's an achievement furnishing from Somerset. I had to do a lot of quests to do that one, but it looks really great. Get a screenshot of this one as well. Love the look of this. 
I don't know. It's going to be so hard to pick winners for this. We're going to have top six winners who are going to win big prizes. The door is almost always going to be visible. There's there's a way to change change it so you can kind of cover up the door. If you use essential housing tools, you can reposition stuff. It's kind of a big pain to do that. I like the door. It's like a magical door. And sometimes you just can't cover it up quite. Ever always says, Nixids are more like pixies and fairies. Very mischievous. <laughs> Have you seen their teeth? Yeah, they're very pointy, aren't they? Let me, let me, there's a Nixid. Kind of very buggy. They're, they're super creepy. Okay, I love this place. Thank you, Tariel. This is Tariel Greenleaf on PCEU. It's a Kraken Home. They're all Kraken Homes. What's the tiny lights on the ceiling? Oh, this would be the Moonlight, Moonlit Cove Vine. Moonlit Cove Vine. That's from the achievement furniture in... Southern Elsewhere. You have to do 20 Dragon Guard quests before you can unlock the achievement furniture in Southern Elsewhere. Okay, you can do something like this too. This is this is very pretty. I like the little candle behind the waterfall. The light just kind of bounces off the water. Thank you, thank you. We'll go to Lyries. Kraken Home up next. Oh yeah, that Moonlit Vine is only a thousand gold too once you unlock it. It's a good deal. Okay, Lyrie's up next. Okay, they had a little bit of a context for this. They said it's a Tevani mage who is interested in the Clockwork Domain. <laughs> Might have another Clockwork fanatic here. Okay, so they their goal here was to make it cozy and livable. Nothing, nothing too extreme. Okay, so we have a Telvani mage. Definitely get a sense of the Telvani style. D Telvani style goes really well with the Dark Elf style too. Like this, all the knotted, gnarly wood kind of has a magical effect going on with it. Okay, Greenleaf says, thank you for visiting. Oh, thank you so much, Greenleaf. Thank you, beautiful home, beautiful home. Okay, so we have Lyries, Telvani mage home. Definitely feels like a mage hall too, so... And then what they are most interested in is clockwork things. So you'll see a lot of, like, clockwork globe here. Ooh, maybe, like, a little... a mid, little... dragonfly here. Clockwork style, or the Brassilisk. Again, clockwork style. Maybe reanimated with some of their magic. Ronnie says, wow, this place looks great. I want to visit. <laughs> it's cozy. That's what they were going for, cozy. So it's kind of like their living space and research area. Tribunal would make sense here. Pro probably based in Vardenfeld somewhere, so probably makes sense to worship the tribunal. Especially so, so if it's still part of the part of the tribunal, it would explain part of the clockwork fascination as well. And then lovely sink here using the Kajiti vase. And then the little just the little gears there for the water controls. It's a good way of doing doing a sink. Not too over the top either. Vathi says well done with the colors. I like the colors here. Just adding a little bit of light here. Those hol hololoo lanterns add a lot of light to this place. And they look kind of festive too. Kind of happy, happy lights. Okay, I'll try to get a screenshot of this place and we'll keep moving along. Maybe if I jump a little bit, I can see a little bit more of this place. A little bit of the bed back there. I'm not going to have the Brassilisk in the picture. Maybe a little bit like that. Okay, that'll work. <laughs> try to get screenshots as I go through. I always load these up on spicyeconomics.com. I have thousands of pictures there. You can go through get all sorts of decoration inspiration okay we're gonna go to lavathi's up next as we continue our kraken home craze wait wait it's behind the dividers wait 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 there was oh there was stuff behind the dividers oh my gosh i thought that was just like to break this room up a little bit for the privacy for the bed no there's a bathtub area here and a toilet 
The seat is down. The seat is thank goodness. <laughs> Whatever toilet and bath area. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. Okay, we'll go to Lavathi's at last on PCEU. Okay, Lavathi. I think they said no RP. No, no, somebody else has an RP. Lavathi might have RP for me. Lavathi. Lavathi is amazing. Oh, they're, they're here. I can't read my writing. Oh no, it is a. a thing of beauty. That's been trapped. It's a small home for big hearted creatures. Oh no, I can't read my own writing. <laughs> okay, it's a small home for big hearted creatures. It's a griffin! Oh, we have griffin! Griffin is free! It's free for now. But, but wait, I see that. I see that orb. Maybe we will. Oh no. The griffin, the griffin, it's going mad, it's going mad. I better protect it. There we go, it's been protected. Okay. For my own protection. <laughs> I love those orbs. <laughs> you can crack them open or put them back together. Oh, I lost my griffin. No, oh, it's okay. He's hatching. Oh, he's hatching! No, oh, wait, no, 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 no. He's hatching. Oh, okay, I'll let him hatch. This don't cause too much trouble. The small ones have trapped her. Okay, so this is cute. We have the small ones. <laughs> we have a zombie. So the funny thing is, uh, Lavathi had one, one of our feast uh, contest. They were one of the winners for our feast contest this past week. And a zombie had brought an entire, entire meat tornado. That was fun. It was a giant one made out of centered rocks. So it was kind of like this one. So a little bit of an allusion to that too. Um, that's really cute to see. So a zombie is relaxing here. Seems like a really nice place. I see the painting. Oh, you've been trapped. Lavathi has been trapped. Love all the lights here. It feels very outdoorsy. Library. Yeah, a little kebab. I know, it's so cute. <laughs> and we have a stairway up here. Oh, it looks like it's using the bottoms of some big trees. I think that's what it is. Bottoms of some big trees to make this kind of natural, kind of wooden stairway. That's really creative. And then up above. Oh, we have the. Like a nice daybed here. Really low to the ground. It's really, really pretty. Great use of the paintings in the background just to kind of add some add some depth there. And then being really creative with these paintings too. You can see this little, just a little bit of a seam there. What uh, Lavathi has done has curved these. So it's taking one and then kind of curving a couple more here gives a bit of a, a bit more of a natural look. It's re as a that's like a really a really good decorator tip. <laughs> it's hard to pull off. It's a nice place to come soak. It always says everybody outdid themselves. Oh yeah, a lot of talent on display with this. You have to line those up just right to make that work, too, so it looks seamless. Greenleaf says, I love how people use paintings. So clever. Yeah, it's three paintings. It's one here, one here, one here, and they're just slightly, slightly angled. Slightly angled here. You can kind of see that. But it makes it look really good from, from here. Oh, <laughs> Lavathi has summoned all the all the small ones. Oh, oh, that's cute. I love it. I love it. So that was using animations to make to make every every 
everybody gets summoned to the bed. <laughs> oh, they're all cute. Including Azabi. Azabi's still all wet. Oh, it's cute. That's cute. Oh, the board says it's supposed to take him forever. Greenleaf says that scene looks like a painting. I know, I know. It's really, it's really cool. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. That will do it for... Yeah, pastoral painting look for this. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Lavavi. And that will do it for PCEU. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over to PCNA and we're going to continue to tour Kraken Homes. Kraken Home Craze. I've covered up. Sneaky cow. Gender Fox is so good. I know, I know. Okay, hopping over to PCNA, we have 27 more homes to tour on PCNA.